Hey yo, what's up and welcome, I'm the one and only West Coast King and welcome back to the Minnesota United career. Now I know it's been about a week since the last episode, I do apologize for that. If you follow me on Twitter, I did put out a notice saying that I was taking a few days off while I was moving. You may notice things look a little bit different behind me, the lighting in this room is an absolute disaster so I'm going to work on that as well, but it's been a chaotic week. Um, I did finally get moved. I moved, actually moved closer to Seattle, which is very, very nice. I like that a lot. It was actually at the Sounders game, which took place Thursday. This will be coming out Saturday. So, yeah, I mean, I was at the playoff game. Um, that was kind of one of my main reasons for moving over here. I want to be closer to Seattle, so that was nice. But, yeah, I, I know I just moved six months ago to the place I was at. I just moved again, which I didn't really have very much control over. So, I mean, now I'm here and I'm probably going to be moving again in maybe a month or so. So it's a bit chaotic. If there's any more delays in videos, you'll know probably because it's I'm moving again. So I apologize for that, but let's get into this episode. So six games into season number two here with Minnesota and we sit in third place. We're three points back of uh, Vancouver and six points back of Portland. And we do have Vancouver coming up on the schedule today, so we're looking forward to that. But we're off to a pretty decent start. Three wins from our first six is not bad. It's not where I thought we would be, but it's not bad. And we left off last episode talking about the starting striker spot, namely Christian Ramirez. He came back last episode with a vengeance, scored a lot of goals, and I think, and I think you guys agree with me, he is pretty much hands down the starting striker on this team at this point. I mean, he's taking the spot from Aaron Johansson. And a lot of you guys were saying for me to sell Aaron Johansson in the upcoming transfer window. And I might look at doing that. We'll have to wait and see how that pans out and get that designated player spot back where that Johansson's taking up. And I'm not really sure where else we would spend that spot. I think the team's looking pretty solid overall. I mean, I don't know. I'm not really sure what's going to go on with that. But for now, Christian Ramirez will be the striker on this team for sure. I mean, I don't think there's any doubt about it. The other question I asked last episode was where we should send our youth scout next. We've been to the United States. We've been to Canada. Canada didn't really pan out all that well, but that's okay. We got a couple of decent looking players out of it. And pretty much everyone that left a comment had a different idea of where we should send the scout. I don't think any two people agreed on where we should send them. So... I'm kind of left to pick it on my own. We could go to Mexico. We haven't been there yet, but I don't think there's any Mexican-born players that play for Minnesota. So I'm not sure that's the best idea. Some people were naming some countries in, in South America. I know Brazil was one, Peru, I think Ecuador was another one. But I liked the idea of sending them to Northern Europe, specifically up in this region up here. Finland, Sweden, Norway, or Denmark. And you know what? I think, I think I'm gonna go Denmark. I, I kind of like that idea. Let's go. Let's go Denmark. We'll, we'll do it for three months. We'll do it for a short period of time. If it pans out, we may stay longer or we may move around up in that region. So let's go three months and look for any players. So for our first game back, and honestly, my first game playing FIFA in over a week, so this should go real, real well. We have Atlanta United coming into Minnesota, and this is the U.S. Open Cup match. And I know the starters are rested and ready to go in this one, but we do have Vancouver coming up. In three days so I'm gonna rotate the team I'm gonna go with the reserve lineup at least we have Johansson up there I mean he could do something for us but we are gonna fully rotate this team for the US Open Cup match here I don't know how this is gonna go I'm sure Atlanta United's gonna have their full starting team in there so that could be a bit of a mismatch I mean last time they came up to our place they beat us 2-0 and completely dominated the game hopefully that doesn't happen again here if we can win great if we get knocked out of the US Open Cup again I'm not gonna be too worried about it All right, here we go. Kick off against Atlanta, and as expected, full starting 11 from that side. So, uh, okay, my, my controller died. We're off to a great start today. My controller died already. Hello? I don't even know where the cord is for this thing. I haven't even unpacked all my stuff yet. All right, boys, come on. Let's D up. Nicely done. Finley, beautiful tackle, Finley. Ball roll. Beautiful. Get that pass off. You get the pass. Nice. Johansson. Back through for Venegas. Venegas back for Finley. Finley. Johansson, oh, cuts it through, Johansson, oh, shot blocked, that was actually really, really well worked, very well worked, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, okay, it's one nothing already, this is, this is, this is not fair, this is really not, we have a debutant in this match, and it's Ernest Chemin, Chem, that left back that's from France that I can't say his name, and he's going up against Hector Villalba, who just scored, 
Yeah, like I said, this this is a mismatch. This is not fair, and this could get really, really bad. Good move from Venegas. Ibarra waiting on the overlap. Here we go, Shamin. Shamin looking in there. Gonna go in there. Oh, it falls Venegas! Venegas missed? <laughs> he wasn't even cool. How did he miss that badly? Shamin, crossing. He's got Johansson! Oh, Johansson misses you. We're getting so close. Come on, boys. That's two really, really good crosses coming from that left-hand side. We got to find a goal here. Yes, Cronin. Big play there. Nice job. Overlapping is Ibsen. Ibsen. Putting it in there. There's Johansson. Johansson scores. I don't even know how that ball got to Johansson right there. But Atlanta had been falling apart defensively the last 10, 15 minutes. We finally got them. We finally made them pay. And Aaron Johansson is the one that gets the goal. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Late, late drama here against Atlanta. Well, Atlanta is just... The passing right now has just been awful. I don't even know what they're trying to do. Here's Johan... Or it's Jozinho. Jozinho gets by one. He's by another. He's got the speed. Oh, no. It's Aaron Johansson. No. Johansson. All right, let's go for Johansson. That's actually a really, really good ball from Chamin. Johansson pulls it back. Now gets the cross in. There's Allen. Jozinho's offside. Oh, no. Allen, I thought Allen, Allen should have scored that. He should have beat Guzan with that. Come on. Uh-oh. Oh, Oh, no. Oh, McGowan again. God, is he good. Oh, no, lost the ball. Oh, they lost the ball. Somehow they lost the ball. Okay, here we go. Let's give it back to Allen. Ref, no. Allen was through. Okay, that's the end of the 90 minutes. We're going to extra time against Atlanta. Wow, what a game, man. This has been up and down the last 20 minutes. Whoa, anyone? It won't let me switch. Why the fuck would it let me? This is... That's AIDS! That is absolute AIDS! If it would have let me switch to Ryan McGowan, it wouldn't let me switch players at all. If I could have switched to Ryan McGowan, he's the closest player to the ball. He easily gets there. Instead, it made me stay with Jauzinho, who's like the fourth furthest person from the ball. And I just... That happened. That's abs That's game mechanics absolutely screwing us over right there. That's not fair. Really? Really? That goal? Really? Just crossed it into traffic and somehow it's a goal. But Villalba just... Oh my god! <laughs> this is ridiculous! There is the final whistle. I guess, mercifully, this one comes to... 4-1? to one? How, how, when we were the better team, especially in the second half, did we lose that game 4-1? to one? What the hell just happened? Alright, well, I guess we're out of the US Open Cup in very weird fashion it's just a freaking weird game i don't even know what to say about that 4-1 4-1 when we had more shots more possession more shots on target everything lost the game 4-1 okay then so we're staying at home now we have vancouver in town they're a good team i i don't think we beat them last season like at all they, they were very very good they're in second place right now we're gonna go with the starters in this one everyone's rested i've seen a little tired having come on as a sub against Atlanta last game but for the most part we're rested and ready to go let's hopefully put this one away we had chances to beat Atlanta we should have put them away that's our fault we gotta put Vancouver away when we have the chance all right here we go kickoff against Vancouver and I forgot to change the time of day tonight because in the sun gray kits and white kits look exactly the same so bit of a kit clash going on here but we'll figure it out we usually do so this shouldn't be too too much of a problem here well okay except for that okay I really can't tell who my own players are that was a problem here we go Molino looking for Jauzinho nice little move from Jauzinho spraying it for Nicholson Nicholson in there for Molino Molino turns Nice, Ramirez, beautiful play, Jauzinho bangs it home, what an exquisite attack that was, and it's 1-0 early over Vancouver, wow, what a freaking play, the passing was so perfect, 
I'm not gonna lie, like 50% of those I wasn't sure that were actually my teammate I was trying to pass the ball to there, but it's okay! God, playing in the sun with these gray kits is a nightmare, but it works! Everything worked out nicely, and we got the early one nilly. What a finish from Jauzinho! Boy, what a ball from Ramirez to Molino! Oh my god, Ousted, what a catch! Damn, I thought that was gonna be 2-0. That was a really nice play from Ramirez. Uh-oh. Oh, Freddy. Oh, that's a really, really good ball from Freddy Montero. That was close. <laughs> that was definitely their best look of the of the game so far early in the second half. But not a good finish. Oh, what a ball up for Nicholson. Nicholson's just straight through right here. Nicholson is going to have this shot near post. Ousted's up to it, though. Dang, man. This game's, getting, this game's getting a little bit too open. We need to close it down a little bit. It's too fast-paced right now. Jalzinho looking over here for Nicholson. Back for Jalzinho. Gets around a man. Ousted. Good save again. It just couldn't quite get the angle to pull that back across goal. That was almost 2-0. That was a really good play. Oh, here comes Vancouver up the wing. Getting across in back post. Jovin. No, 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 no. Come on. Really? <laughs> How do we keep giving up these garbage goals like that? Jovin won the ball. I just wanted him to head it behind for a corner. He heads it down into the middle of the six-yard box. It takes like two deflections and ends up in the back of the net for a Vancouver equalizer. We're just the most unlucky team today, I swear. Oh my, if it... <laughs> he headed it off the... He headed it off of Courtney Ford's neck. In there for Ramirez. Ramirez, get the pass off. Molino, he's got it. Kevin Molino has it. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, finally they make Vancouver. That's like their first mistake of the game. It really, really is. They played so well defensively back there. And finally, somebody vacated that spot. I don't know what happened or where they went, but Molina was just flat through by, with no one near him. Thank God. A 90th minute potential game winner from Kevin Molino. I almost pulled him out of the game just now for fitness to try to get some fresh legs in. I stuck with him. Thank goodness I did. Big goal from Kevin Molino. Come on. I think that's the three points. And that is the final whistle straight from kickoff. That is the three points secured. Whew, man. I mean, we, we should have won both games today. I mean, both of those games, we were the better team. I think, at least I think so. Just some really trash goals given up that we really have no control over. But, I mean, like I said before this one, we have to put the teams away when we have them in that position. We didn't do it against Atlanta. We just narrowly managed to do it against Vancouver. And we do get the three points. That's a big three points. That draws us level with second place Vancouver now. All right, well, I was going to end the episode there. A nice, easy two games to get back into the series. You know, kickstart it, get it going again. But you know what? We've got Atlanta again. And I want another crack at them. This time, we're going to be down in Atlanta. And we've got the starters on the field for this one. They're a little bit tired, but they're definitely fit enough to play in this match. So we're going to go with them. We have Philadelphia coming up in three days. I have no idea how we're going to handle that. The entire month of May is going to be an absolute disaster fitness-wise. But we'll deal with it as it comes. I want to beat Atlanta United. For the love of God, we should have beaten them last time. I want to beat them this time. Let's get it done. All right, here we go. Kickoff against Atlanta. Same exact team out there for them as we faced in the Open Cup. So they've got to be getting a little bit tired, I would have to think. Maybe that'll be our advantage here. We're pretty fit for this one. They've got to be going on short rest. Oh, the passing from Atlanta right now. Oh, Jackson Martinez. Jo Jackson Jefferson. No, not Jefferson. Jose Martinez. It was also. Oh, my God. We're getting destroyed. Jose Martinez hit the post. I couldn't think of his freaking name. I knew it started with a J. I got it eventually. Oh, my God, man. I, I, I didn't even say anything. I thought we had it. I thought we had that covered, and somehow Villalba just blasted into the back of the net. I don't think there's a way to beat Atlanta. I really don't think there is a way to beat this team. They're better than they were last year because they have a young core and they're continuing to develop. I mean, by season three, there is not going to be a way. It took another deflection. It's another. I knew we had that covered. It's another trash goal. Come on, man. Here we go. Ball out for Jauzinho. He's going to get by. He is going to get by. What a move. Oh, my God. That spin move just in the nick of time there. Jozinho gets that pass away. There's Molino, the header again. Brad Guzan was in his own freaking net. Here we go. This is nice. Jozinho. Ooh, good little move from Jozinho. Come on, Jozinho. 
Played in there. Ramirez. Ramirez is through. Christian Ramirez. Guzan. You've got to be kidding. Not in his life does he have those kind of reflexes. Here we go. Ball for Jauzinho. Come on, Jauzinho. Play it through. Christian Ramirez. Oh, my God. Ramirez. Oh, are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> I can't, man. I actually just freaking can't. Jauzinho is through again. We're, we're working it so well. Jauzinho for Ramirez. There it is. Christian Ramirez finally scores a freaking goal. I am so done with today, man. I am so freaking done. Oh, my God. I, I, what else can he do? What else can he say? Oh, my goodness. We finally got that goal. Beats Guzan low. Just trickles it into the net. I, I don't even know. Boy, Jauzinho. Jauzinho's through again. Come on, Jauzinho. Play it. No, Molino. He's going to get there. He chips Guzan. He chips Guzan. Oh, my God. Molino just chips Guzan. I was just, I just tried to make subs, but they played the ball too quick, and I didn't get them off. Molino's not even supposed to be on the field anymore. Jauzinho has absolutely torched that left back. I think it's Jimenez over there. That finish from Molino. Two games in a row. Kevin Molino comes through at the end of the game with possible game winners. Oh my god, that was such a freaking nasty finish. And that is going to do it. Final whistle goes. We go back on the road against Atlanta and we take our revenge. They still knocked us out of the US Open Cup, which sucks. But we do get our revenge and we beat them here once again. We beat them twice down in Atlanta. They've beaten us twice up in Minnesota. I don't know why the home team can't hold form and beat the other one, but whatever, man. We're two and we're two and two against Atlanta in this career. Wow, they have been some crazy games. All right, so like I said before that last match, our schedule for the month of May is insane. We have I mean two, four, six, eight games in the month of May, which is a bit much. So we're definitely going to be rotating the team a lot this month. The reason for that being, you can see the end of June, we have no games for the final two weeks and then nearly the entire month of July because of the World Cup. So our the May is the one that where they packed every single game into apparently. So yeah, that's going to be a bit of a rough stretch for us, but at least we'll get a good look at all of our players before we hit that summer transfer window. So as we wrap up today's episode... It was an interesting one, we'll put it that way, but we do find ourselves now up to second place, still tied on points with Vancouver and San Jose, and we're one point back of Portland, but we do have a game in hand. That will start off next episode against last place Philadelphia. I'll probably simulate that game. I, I, I'm sure that we can handle it either way. Even if I put some reserves in there, I probably have to rotate a little bit, but we'll, we'll wait till next episode to figure all of that stuff out. But yeah, Philadelphia is a little bit bad this season. And actually, that loss that Atlanta just took was their first of the year in any competition. So, a little bit proud, I would say, that we were able to handle business once again on the road in Atlanta. So, it's looking good. Still got a lot of time before that summer transfer window. A lot of time to evaluate what this team is and what we have and what we still need to go out and get. So, that's it for this one. If you did enjoy it, make sure to let me know by leaving a like below. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you when we come back with some more Minnesota United career. See ya.